Introverts, how did you meet your girlfriend? Welcome back, folks. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? If you belong in the first category, it seems like life is a little bit difficult for you on the outside. But that's not always the case, as introverts have a fun-filled life. They mostly get comfortable with their loved ones, but take time to warm up to new people. This does both good and bad for them. They do have a lesser number of friends as compared to the extroverts out there, but nevertheless, they make friends that they would treasure for their whole lives. Getting into a relationship is also a challenging task for them, as their partner should be ready to accept them as themselves and understand their needs and reservations. Today, we will look at some cute stories shared by our introverted Redditors of them meeting their partners. The thing with introverts is, it's difficult to keep a conversation going. Until, that is, you find this one subject. They are the most passionate about it. It's not long ago I shared how I met my husband. He's the introvert. He kept coming in to the bar I worked, and I kept asking him questions trying to get a conversation going. But I kept hitting a wall. It didn't stop me from trying though. It confuses me to think back on because I was also very annoyed with him. But anyway, after asking about so many things, I finally, on day four, asked him about books. And the boy never shut his mouth thereafter. So to all the introverts out there, asking questions is difficult, but you're all passionate about something, whatever it is. Lead the conversation towards that one subject that you feel something confident about. Then all the rest will come more easily. I can't believe my husband didn't ask, so do you read any books? Who's your favorite author? When he's so passionate about them. For four days, all we did was me, question, him, answer. Me, nothing. Me, question. That's a classic one. It is tough to keep the conversation going with an introvert. Hence, it is better if an extrovert dates an introvert. She just started talking to me and never stopped. <laughs> Simple and cute. I told her, if I weren't so socially inept, I'd be trying to have a conversation with you. Married almost nine years. The struggle he faces is only known to him. Both of us work at a grocery store. I saw her and thought she was the cutest there, but never really did anything about it. She works as a cashier and I work in produce. She would always do the restock and I soon realized she was doing that for a reason and started flirting back with her. We have been together 11 months now. Well, great work, Mr. Smarty Pants. My introverted boyfriend, Tender, his picture was him hanging upside down from a tree and his bio said, proof that nerds grow on trees. We both made it clear we were looking for a relationship, met up the day we matched for coffee, hit it off, and that was that. Why fear when Tinder is here? <laughs> After four years of no-show dating following a crushing breakup, a mutual friend called to my attention. She was into me. I was oblivious. I didn't know her very well, but I was ready to try again. I wasn't even sure that I was attracted to her, but I figured it couldn't hurt to go out on a date with a nice girl. We hit it off. She's pretty shy, which is why she said she had never had the courage to try to talk to me. And of course, the first date, I'm slowly realizing she's amazing. Many years later, now we have two kids and there's just a lot of love in our lives. A chance given goes a long way, readers, so take your chances. You never know what's in store for you. At a Japanese rope bondage workshop, she needed someone to tie. I was looking for someone to tie me. Four plus years later, still going strong. We hope you both are tightly bound to each other to the end. I met my husband while I was shopping. I spent a good six weeks buying incredibly overpriced avocados from the shop he works at and then coincidentally winning at Fruitbox Weekly Draw. I added him on Facebook, though he shops Facebook page, minor stalker alert here, and just asked him out. And here we are, a year later, married. Bonus, the avocados are free now. Who can say no to avocados? Not me. He was in the corner, drinking a bottle of water. I noticed him immediately, and I noticed him noticing me for the better part of an hour. I finally just walked up to him after I figured he was too shy to approach me. We chatted for about two hours and then left. Later in school, we exchanged our AOL screen names, and then after that, weeks of random chat sessions, he finally worked up the courage to ask if I wanted to see a movie, a Harry Potter match. During the date, he didn't say anything, but I noticed him being very fidgety, so I decided to hold his hand. After the movie, we were sitting in his car in silence and he was fidgety again, so I grabbed his face and kissed his cheek. 
he turned completely red but was grinning ear to ear. In person, he had trouble stringing sentences together, but online we would chat for hours. He had to express his love via email and cuddling without saying a word. We first met over 14 years ago, bought a house together, and were getting married in October. Going to Disney and Universal for our honeymoon to celebrate Halloween. It's pretty much amazing. As we get older, he's gotten much more vocal, but I still do most of the talking and socializing. We do a squeeze squeeze when holding hands to mean I love you if we don't want to talk. Now that is a love story to wish for. After months of spending less than 20 minutes sober, I drove myself to a hospital for detox. Finally got up to the unit about 1 a.m. where I proceeded to be given a bunch of drugs to help me sleep and reduce the chances of a seizure. Woke up the next day for breakfast in my scrubs, highly confused, and there she was. She had been in detox a full day before me, and this one allowed you to bring your own clothes and shit, so she was dressed in sweats. For some odd-ass reason, she saw me, barely aware, unshowered for two to three months, and thought he looks hot. Proceeded to spend the next seven days in a locked unit only talking, after which we both went our separate treatments, detox was combined detox, and counseling that was specialized in getting people into treatment directly from the hospital. Only contact we had from then on was about 20 minutes total of phone time, but we wrote letters to each other every day. It's been almost nine months now, and we have had very dark parts of our relationship where we both relapsed, but now we are both over three months sober, focusing on our individual recovery first. I couldn't be happier that I finally found my best friend who loves me for who I am and has helped me grow in so many areas. I know nobody is really going to read this, but I want someone to see it, so thank you to whoever does. That went deep, man. It sure is a rare story to find nowadays. Well, my husband is an introvert. I liked him all through high school, and we were friends for 13 years. Finally, one day, I looked at him and said, how come we've never dated? We should date. He said, okay. Got married in 2015 and had our baby in 2016. So simple. She surely must have wished to have asked him out earlier. At a bar, she came up to me. And then they got drunk and lived happily ever after. Introverted girl here, hope that's okay, met my boyfriend on Reddit. Well, 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 love begins here as well. Have you ever faced similar experiences? Comment your thoughts below and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you leave.